So first thing, I went into Android settings. Just scrolling a bit till I found About Phone, then opened Version Info. You know the classic move, tapping build number seven times to unlock developer options. Every Android tweak starts like that. Then I went back, Open System, and tapped into Developer Options. There are two things I always enable. Disable child process restrictions and force activities to be resizable. Basically, it helps with multitasking and keeps the apps from closing when they're in the background. After that, I opened the app I was testing. You'll see what it is in a sec. Once inside, I tapped the little plus icon and started creating a new environment. For this one, I chose Roblox, just to see how it handles cloning and performance. Next up, I renamed the app, Simple Stuff, just to keep things organized. Then I tapped on brand slash model, where you can either pick a specific phone model or just go random if you want a different device identity. That part's pretty fun. Then I enabled the option, open a new identity with one click that basically gives the clone a completely fresh environment, which helps avoid conflicts when running multiple versions of the same app. After that, I opened location privacy. Here you can randomize your location. It's useful when testing apps that depend on GPS, or if you just want your virtual space to look like a totally new device. Once that's done, I tapped standalone installation and started installing the app. It took a few seconds, then I jumped right in to test how stable it was inside the virtual setup. Now, the cool part. I already made five separate Roblox clones just to see how far it can go before things start lagging. I tried opening Roblox from the second clone up to the fifth one, and then loaded the game Fish It inside each. Surprisingly, everything ran smoother than I expected at first. Of course, it's not perfect. The more clones you open, the heavier it gets. But for testing two to three instances at the same time, it's pretty solid. Now, why is this type of app considered a virtual machine? Basically, because it doesn't just clone the app, it runs it inside its own isolated system. It creates a separate virtual environment, kind of like having multiple Androids running at once. Each one has its own identity, settings, and permissions, which is why it feels like you're handling several phones inside one. Between those tests, I was just checking the behavior, switching windows, seeing which clone stays active and which one drops out. That's when you start to really understand how stable your setup is. Before turning off the screen, I tested multi-window mode. On my device, two windows at once are still smooth, but once you push it to three or more, it starts lagging pretty bad especially if your RAM is under eight gigabytes. So yeah, don't forget to lock your background apps after setting everything up because that helps prevent sudden shutdowns while testing. Then I turned off the screen for a bit, waited and came back to see if everything was still running. Most of the clones stayed alive, which means the tweaks I enabled earlier actually worked. Finally, I opened two Roblox clones side by side just to wrap up the test. Both loaded fine, ran the same game, and didn't crash pretty solid result for this setup. And that's it. Test complete. Just remember, the more you experiment, the better you'll understand how these virtual environments behave.